All right, guys, let's talk skincare. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to share a new topic on the Classic Claudine YouTube channel, skincare. I decided I wanted to share with you guys the products that I use both in the AM and PM in my skincare routine and anticipate myself doing a video like this every few months or so if and when the products that I use change, if some come in, if some go out, and just kind of keep you guys posted on what I'm using, how I like them, how I don't like them, if that's the case. And in return, maybe if you know of a product that might be even better than the one that I'm using for that particular purpose, you can certainly share that in the comments down below. I would love to have new options to try. I always like to keep my skincare routine on its toes. I don't like to fall into a rut or a routine because I feel like with everything, the same routine over and over again is not good. I think your skin will, or even your hair, if we're talking hair products, let's say, will get used to whatever products you are using to fight anti-aging or spots, things like that. And I think that if you change it up a little, it, like I said, keeps your skin on its toes and actually ultimately is better for your skin. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if there's really any science backed research to support that, but that's how I feel because, you know, kind of a bit of a tangent, but when I use certain products on my hair, if I use them long enough, I feel like they're not as effective as when they were first added to my routine. So I kind of feel like that same approach is one I like to use when it comes to my skin. With that being said, we will start with serums and specifically the serums that I use either exclusively in the AM or the PM. I will be looking down a little bit because I have an iPad here so I can read off the language that the pages have provided for these various products so that you can get a better idea of what they're supposedly going to be doing for your skin. But all of these items that I'm about to start with are ones I've been using for some time and really like and find effective because I feel like my skin is holding up quite nicely. I don't see very much in the way of wrinkles. My skin tone and evenness is really on point at the moment and I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I think there's always room for improvement. A year, two years ago, the skin story was a bit different and I feel like it's finally settled in and looks really good. And I'm sure aside from dermatological prescription type stuff, the everyday AM PM routine is certainly helping. So all of these products, like I said, I like, I'm enjoying them. I would personally recommend and I will include in the description box below. So with that being said, let's get started with the serum that I typically use only in the AM and it is Beauty Recharge Collagen Spray Serum. On the bottle here, it's a soluble collagen. It is 1.69 fluid ounces and retails for $49. I got this particular item thanks to a couple ladies that I went to for a facial at a nearby salon. They both separately recommended this particular item and I really enjoy using it. It says, it is beauty recharge based on Metricol technology by MedSkin Solutions. Dr. Suwilak is a specialty care facial spray. So it says it revitalizes, regenerates, smooths fine line and wrinkles, boosts cell activity, recharges radiance, harmonizes skin tone. I really like it. I think it's great. And anytime I hear collagen, it's like a buzzword for me when it comes to skincare because you want, you want collagen. So this is a product I use exclusively in the AM and I really, really enjoy it. Now, when it comes to a serum that I use exclusively in the PM, it would be the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum that you see right here. It is one fluid ounce and retails for $45. It says here, infused with powerful ascorbic acid, vitamin C, to retexturize skin and reduce visible signs of aging, Mario Badescu's Vitamin C Serum brightens uneven skin tones while diminishing the look of fine lines and discoloration. Sodium hyaluronate and collagen combine to rehydrate and plump revealing a smoother, firmer complexion. I love it. Maybe two or three times a week, I try to incorporate it into my routine for that brightness and ultimate goal of even skin tone. I really like it. It feels very nice and thick when I apply it. My skin feels 
oily, but not in a bad way. Like it feels like, okay, there is product on here. And you know, I let it sit for a while before I actually apply my moisturizer and eye cream and just let it absorb into my skin. And it is a really fantastic product that I am enjoying. And if you actually are not familiar with Mario Badescu, the line is fantastic. I have a number of items from this particular line that I really enjoy. Priced really nice, actually very fair pricing um, and just good products. And you know, I always have these like epiphanies when I film. I think maybe one of these days I'll do my favorites from this brand and share that with you guys as well. So this is my exclusive PM use only serum because vitamin C at night is better. You don't wanna use this and then go out into the sun and elements. The other two serums that I will typically use on a day-to-day -day basis, I kind of alternate in between. Now I, you know, cause I, I'm saying serums. I have a total of four, so I've shown you two. There are two more to come. I don't use all of these all the time. I alternate, like I said, with the PM uh, vitamin C from Mario Badescu, I use that only two or three times a week. The collagen, I use that in addition to another serum. And so with these last two that I'm about to show you, I kind of alternate between them based on what I feel like my skin needs at that time. And this first one is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. I am big on moisture and hydration for my skin because my skin is very dry. So hyaluronic acid is a big thing for me. I always like to have it incorporated in my routine in some capacity. And this is the latest hyaluronic acid serum that I've been using and I am really, really enjoying it. This is one fluid ounce and it retails for $65. It says intense 75% hyaluronic acid complex helps keep skin hydrated. An invisible veil of hydration attracts up to 1000 times its weight in water from moisture in the atmosphere. Helps replenish the appearance of aging and dehydrated skin with vital moisture, imparting a look of youthful radiance. Helps smooth out the appearance of fine lines and a rough texture. So it's really, really, really great. I like it, I use it on my skin, like I said, frequently, and I do feel that nice moisture hydration from it. And um, really no, no bad things to say about this product. Really, really enjoy it. The other serum that I will use in my routine is by Prescriptives. It is their Super Line Preventer Extreme. This is a serum that I got turned on to by a couple relatives. They use it, they have great skin and I figured I would give it a shot. I've only been using it since December and I'm really enjoying it. I have no bad things to say about it. It is 1.7 ounces and retails for $84. It says, according to their website, what it is, game changer. Just a few drops of this super antioxidant rich formula will help skin to defend against everyday environmental assaults. Loaded with a blend of antioxidants to help prevent skin damage, you can think of it as a juice bar visit for your skin. This silky formula with turmeric, pomegranate, and grapeseed extract soaks right in without any stickiness, leaving you with a primed base for whatever else you feel like wearing over it. Your current skin and your future skin will thank you. What it does, hydrates, brightens, provides antioxidant protection. So like I said, this was recommended to me by a couple family members. Their skin looks fantastic, so I figure they're doing something right. So I wanted to try it and I am really, really enjoying it. Now that we've covered all the serums, let's go to the moisturizer. This is my go-to moisturizer. I absolutely love it. I feel like I am putting water straight on my skin, moisture, straight, hydration, whatever words you wanna use. I just, oh, I love it. Let's just, let me just show you. Murad, the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture, 1.7 ounces for $75. I absolutely love this, you guys, I can't, I can't speak highly of it enough, like to the point that I'm going to help you understand how this feels on the skin. I think you need to go to your local Ulta, Sephora, if they carry it, I actually don't know if they carry it, but whoever, I know Ulta for sure, because that's where I get it. Go try this, no, they do carry it, Sephora does carry it. Go to your local wherever that carries Murad and check this out and just use a little bit, test it on the back of your hand, test it on your skin. You'll know what I'm talking about. It just, it's, as soon as I apply it, you just get this instant cooling sensation, this instant feeling of hydration and moisture. Like it's fan freaking tastic. And like I said, my skin is dry, especially in the winter. So this 
at this time of year is huge for me. I never feel like I am drying out. I don't feel like my skin's flaking. And I really truly think that this, you know, everything helps, but I truly think this is the product. This is what's keeping me hydrated and moisturized in the skin without having any kind of cracking and flaking. I really think that this, this is the one that gets the gold star in that regard. So the information that I have here to share with you about this particular product. It says, Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture locks in optimal moisture levels in the skin for up to eight hours. This super hydrating formula is moisture rich, yet light and non-greasy. Very true. Collagen Support Complex boosts skin resilience and plumpness to dry skin, while avocado, sunflower, and olive fruit oils enhance skin's ability to retain maximum levels of hydration. Retinol Palmitate and Shea Butter improve texture and tone while restoring natural smoothness and softness. I really, really love this product, you guys. Just if you have dry skin, you're looking for a new product to use to help with that dryness, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this product. And one little side note actually about these products and the descriptions that I'm reading to you guys, all of the descriptions with the exception of the description for prescriptives and for beauty recharge were pulled from the Ulta website. That just happens to be the place where I purchase those products. So I kind of defaulted to that website to pull this information to share with you guys. Should you go to either the Murad website or the Mario Badescu website directly, the language you might read there could vary from what I'm reading to you now. And if you in fact find that to be true, I just wanted to disclose that this information is being pulled from the Ulta website just because that's where I thought to go. So with that being said, let's move on to eyes. The current eye cream I am using is by Clinique and it is called All About Eyes. This is actually a small sample of the product because the eye cream that I had been using up until this point just finished and like a dum-dum I threw out the container before filming this video and don't have it handy to show you but the other eye cream I was using was also Clinique. It is called Clinique Smart Custom Repair Eye Treatment and I will insert a photo of that product right now. So that eye cream is 0.5 ounces and retails for $50.50. I really loved it. I think it was a great price point and kept my eye area hydrated. I didn't have any issues with it when it came to makeup application. Sometimes I find that with eye creams, it's kind of hit or miss for me that it'll start to kind of pill around my eyes with makeup. No issues as far as that went with that product. And according to the, again, like I said just a moment ago, the Ulta website, it says, Clinique's Smart Custom Repair Eye Treatment is a powerhouse eye treatment that targets all visible signs of aging in the delicate eye area skin. Key benefits, helps give eyes a younger look, visibly brightens contours and firms, plumps and repairs the look of crow's feet, leaves skin hydrated, comforted, smoothed. I loved it. The only reason I didn't repurchase it is because I was gifted a different eye cream that I really love and obviously I just I haven't had a chance to start using it yet because I did have the Clinique All About Eyes sample here and since this is older in my skincare drawer I decided I wanted to use this first before opening the new product which I'm sure when I do start using that it'll probably be a good time to refilm this video so stay tuned but um yeah the Clinique Smart eye cream was fantastic I love it you know, when I'm out of eye creams, I would definitely be purchasing that again. But now that that finished, and like I said, I like to change things up with my skincare products, I decided to use All About Eyes. And now as far as this product is concerned, Clinique All About Eyes comes in two different sizes, 0.5 ounces and one ounce. The 0.5 is $33 and the one ounce is $54.50. It says Clinique's All About Eyes lightweight eye cream diminishes the appearance of puffs and under eye circles. This non-creep, non-creep, cream slash gel formula actually helps hold eye makeup in place. Solutions for dryness, puffiness, dark circles. It sounds like in comparison to Clinique Smart, this doesn't have as much in the way of 
anti-aging in the sense of like lines and such but it's still an eye cream nonetheless and like i said i always like to change things up so i don't mind using this for the time being but now that i am a little bit older i think i need to be more vigilant with the eye cream and ensure that it does have those anti-aging anti-wrinkle properties in them so i think going forward i might be leaning exclusively on the clinique smart eye cream and as well as eye creams from other brands this one just doesn't sound like it has enough in it for me anymore I don't know, I could be wrong. I, you guys can let me know if this is your go-to eye cream. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm missing something, if the Ulta site is not disclosing something that I should know. I think I just need a little bit more now to ensure that you know the eye situation, the eye game remains as is. So that is it for all the products that I currently use in my skincare routine in the AM and PM. Actually, I lied. In the AM, guys, you need to do this and it's not in any of the products that I showed you for my AM routine. So I have a separate item for this. SPF, guys, do not leave home without it. I will admit that I do leave home without it sometimes, but you should always make sure to incorporate this into your AM routine to keep your skin protected from the sun year round. It doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, the sun, that sun, man, it is, it's potent even in the winter, even on cloudy days, probably especially on cloudy days. I've actually, the worst burn of my life was on a cloudy day in LA, but that's a whole other story. So this should always be in your routine. SPF year round, every morning, make sure to use it. I'm just throwing out an example here of one of the, SPFs that I have and use. Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, and this is SPF 30. I personally think no less than 30 for proper skin protection and to ensure that you don't get any kind of damage from the sun. Now we're officially over. That is my skincare routine, both AM and PM. If you have any products that tackle these issues, perhaps better in your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. Or do you use any of these products that I also use and love them? Or did you find that you didn't like them as much? Were there issues that you had that you might wanna share with me to say, hey, keep an eye out for this with this product because I had this problem. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you, but just as an FYI, any and all comments, just let me know in the comments down below. I like to say comments a lot. I'm, I'm filming guys in my PJs. I, there's no makeup on it's we're just chill today this is a chill video just wanted to come at you as is so you could see how my skin is without any makeup i think that's proof that all these products here work really well make sure to give it that thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't do so already and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time i do upload a video i'd love to have you back and joining me in all my future videos on the classic claudine youtube channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye